Yep, following him around. So it's definitely got you. All right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, it's another beautiful day here at Flight Flight Test, and with the nice weather comes nice flying. We actually did a video on this a couple weeks ago. This is the Skydio R1, and Josh, you actually weren't here when we no, did the main flight. No, I have flight. never experienced this. So for those of you guys who aren't familiar, this is the new R1 from Skydio, which is a new company on the market that everyone seems to be super excited about. And the cool thing about this drone is it's completely autonomous. In fact, in this video, you're barely gonna see anybody flying it at all. It can follow you through all kinds of obstacles uh, at a pretty fast pace too. It has a 4K camera that can shoot at 30 frames per second, or you can put it down to 1080p and do 60 frames per second. So what do you say, man? What, what are your first impressions of how, how it, it looks? It looks pretty sleek and expensive. <laughs> it's because it is. <laughs> so in the last video, we asked you guys if you wanted to see us put these things, this thing to the test, and you guys had a lot of really good ideas. So what we've done is we've taken some of the top rated comments of different ideas, and uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna be putting it to the test. Put it to the test. Now one of the top comments was to see if it could chase a drone or like a plane. Somebody said, oh, if I have it track Thomas Bitmata's quad, that means I'll come in second in every race. And while that would be awesome, unfortunately this guy is only designed to track human figures. Okay. So that kind of that kind of eliminates any kind of tracking anything other than us today. Uh, so that being said, one of the top rated comments was to see how this thing interacts with a mirror. So we just brought a mirror in. Maybe hold a mirror up in front of yourself. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't like its own reflection. <laughs> Could be. All right. Let's see, All right. Let's go grab the mirror and let's put it to the test. Okay. So we're ready to fly. We got a giant mirror, which is. A, a lot heavier than it looks, so Josh, man, please be careful. I will. Don't cut yourself, but look at that. He looks kind of invisible. I like that you got this really skinny mirror and you said, yeah, Josh can fit behind uh, that. Yeah, I definitely could not fit behind that. <laughs> I don't know Let's what to expect. It. Let's just try it. <laughs> okay, so you let it map me first? Yeah, I think so. So let me get it into position here. Map me. Nice thing is you don't have to ever worry about it running into anything. So you can just push it around wherever you want it to go. All right, I'm going to select Josh on here. You just hit the plus sign, and then boom, it's tracking him. Little does it know that it's in for the test of its lifetime with a mirror. Have you ever seen one of these? All right, all right. so go ahead and put the mirror in front of you. Like hide behind it? Oh totally? my gosh, dude, it's crazy how camouflaged you are. <laughs> okay, object lost. Really? Interesting. Man, I was hoping that it would... <laughs> <laughs> it has no idea where you went, dude. All right, so all of you guys in the comments that were worried about Skynet becoming a reality, this is how you get away from the autonomous drone. You just need a mirror. Uh, you're gonna be fine, dude. You're gonna be fine. When AI starts taking over the world, you're gonna be absolutely Everybody fine. Everybody stock up on giant mirrors now. All right, so I'd say that test is a uh, success or a failure on the drone's part. But I can't really blame it. Like it looks, yeah, it keeps losing them every single time. Nice mirror work, sir. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next test on the list, uh, we had a, quite a few comments of people thinking that if it was 3D mapping you that um, if you were to lay down kind of like in a prone position, like Call of Duty style, army crawl, yeah. if it would still be able to track you. All right, taking off here. I, I think it's gonna be able to track me no problem. We'll okay. see. So, now I got really bad allergies, so this probably isn't Gosh. gonna be the best thing for me in the, all these dandelions. You're gonna pick up poison oak again. So, as you can see. All right, it's on Alex. Yep, following him around. So it's definitely got you. All right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, no yeah I think it's still got you. This is not a it's very effective way to get away. One of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. All right. So I'd say no. I'd say it does just fine. That was some stellar crawling though. So if you're trying to get away from this kind of drone, mirror is gonna be the best yeah. option. Crawling, don't <laughs> do so it. Much. You just look like a really <laughs> weird guy rolling around on the ground. <laughs> my face kind of itches now. Oh, that's not good. All right, so now we get into some of the more interesting tests. We have uh, a lot of people wanted to see uh, specifically if you could go from an outside environment 
to inside. an inside environment. So we're gonna have it track us out here in the grass, bright sunlighted area. We're gonna walk through this little kind of congested uh, awning here into the shop, which is gonna be a little hectic. I don't know what to expect. It's a lot of planes, this thing is loud. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna see. I'm optimistic, I think it's gonna work. Okay. All right, so the inside to outside Skydio R1 Josh Cop follow challenge test commence. So right now it's following you, so it's gonna do its best to stay behind you depending on which way you're, you're heading. Okay. Is it still behind me? Do you see it? Ugh. All right, come on. Come on. It's thinking about it. I wonder if this, this posts are throwing it off. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. I wonder if it's too dark in here. Oh. Dude. Did, did you land it? I landed it, okay. yeah. It did pretty good. So it got all the way to the door and then it kind of stopped and then Josh kept going and it said it lost the object. I don't know, but honestly though, I'm surprised that not only did it like, it got this far, but it didn't hit anything along the way, which is pretty impressive. One of the other things that I saw that it was dealing with too is the different lighting. You went from direct sunlight into the shadow. Right. And that's when it really started to have, yeah, it started I think, to struggle. I think it lost me the further that I got inside. So I'm curious to see what would happen if we just start the whole flight indoors. And that was actually one of your guys' comments. So you wanted to see if this thing was able to be used indoors. So we're gonna start doing it in the shop. The garage is gonna be a little bit bigger. And so let's, let's grab this guy. All right, so we're in the shop, specifically the garage because this is the biggest part of the shop. It has the highest ceilings. And we're gonna put this to the test. Interesting, it says that it's ready to launch. So go ahead and swipe it up. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> All right, it's like, oh man. It definitely can sense that there's a lot of things going around. All right, All right. so click on me, see if it can track me. Okay. All right. So, as you can see, it is working. It doesn't have a ton of places to go. It's actually working. And this is a pretty small space. Yeah. But as you can see, oh, lost, me. lost me. It's a little dark up here. Let's see if I come down a little bit. And it, it, that's cool. If it does lose you, if you go back into your old position, it does pick you back up, which is pretty cool. But I think it does go to show that you can use this indoors. It just does have to be a pretty large area because even this big garage is a little bit too small. Wow. No problem. Yeah. It's really relieving when it lands because there's no more noise. I'd say there's one room for improvement. It's the, it's yeah, the sound of the thing. Sure. Yeah, now this is a pretty tight space in here, but if you were in like a gymnasium or like a skate park, mm -hmm. um, something a little bit bigger, the higher the ceiling, obviously the better. I think it's definitely safe to say that you could use this indoors. Yeah, reasonably. I, there's one test that there were a couple comments, but also me personally, it's just something that I want to see. I kind of want to see, it says the 25 mile an hour top speed. I want to see how close to that we can get it. Okay. So for that, we're gonna have our good buddy Chad, who's an extreme sports athlete, and he has a crazy electric skateboard, and we're gonna have him ride down the road Sweet. and see if, if, see if this thing can chase him. All right, let's do it. All right, so we are out by our street here at the end of our driveway, and uh, we got Chad here. He makes it happen here at Flight Test. And today he's gonna make it happen by riding real fast down the road on his sweet electric skateboard. Chad, how are you feeling about this? Uh, this is kind of a sketchy road because there's a, like a lot of rocks and junk on it. So I guess we're just gonna see if I don't crash. Be and careful. Helmet. Be, careful. Be careful, man. That's why he's got a, his trusty paramotor helmet on it. Did you make that skateboard? Yeah. All right, so this is it. Gotta make it count. Good luck, Chad. There it goes. Not disconnecting this time. It's kind of a weird thing, like if I was walking through the park and I just saw that, right, yeah. like a dude ride by on an electric skateboard <laughs> with a crazy autonomous drone chasing him. It's like he's walking his dog. It looks like it's holding, it's chasing him really good. Yeah. 
hopefully no cars come. So anyways guys, uh, hopefully this is some of the tests that you wanted to see. Um, this Skydio drone is gonna be around for a while, so let us know if there's anything more that you wanna see us do. Uh, it's something that I'd like to do more of with our content is revisit products. A lot of times we'll get a product in, we do something with it once and then you never see it again. Uh, this thing specifically, here it comes, look. <laughs> That's, pr that's pretty cool. But yeah, so like this thing specifically, I wouldn't mind revisiting yet again. We, this will be our second video on it so far. But if there's any other kind of challenges, tests that you guys want to see, let us know down in the comments. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Wow, that's fast. Chad, be careful. <laughs> I know, dude. Dude, that was awesome, man. Nicely done. Good job, Skydio. <laughs>